Okay, so let's discuss this one. Uh, we have discussed this at the class, but uh, perhaps uh, it will help. The video will help you to review how how to solve this problem. This is what problem. So uh, the first we need to do is to identify by reading the sentence uh, carefully. Anna has three kilogram of flour. This is the first. She buys three, uh, two more package of flour. So after Anna has three kilogram of flour, she buys she buys more two two more package uh, packets of flour. Each of the packet uh, has mass m kilogram. So uh, first the no and Anna has three kilogram of flour. Then uh, she buys more two packets uh, each uh, m kilogram okay so what is ask uh, a is find the amount of flour and has all together in terms of m so whenever whenever you are asked to find the amount to find the numbers to uh, in term of m it means algebraic expression the answer will be in, uh, will include the uh, letters. So let's solve the problem. Uh, at first, Anna has three, and then she buys she buys two more package, and each each of the packages uh, has mass of m kilogram. So m plus m two package. So let's simplify becoming. 3 plus 2 m kilogram or uh, you can put the algebra at the front like this okay so that's the first questions uh, in beside you uh, identify the uh, information no here the information uh, containing the value or numbers you can also use a model like this for example, at first it has k three kilogram, but then, but then he, uh, she, she buys two more. This one buys buys two more, which each uh, has mass of m kilogram. So we have three plus m plus m. And simplify 3 plus 2 m kilogram the same answer so you can use this uh, strategy or can you can you can use the model to help you out identify the information that's the a and what's up what what about B B is substitute the algebra uh, uh, the letter used in the algebra expression with, with the value so the B one if m equals to 2 substitute into the equation or the algebraic expression so 2 times 2 plus 3 we have to do this one first 2 times 2 equals to 4 plus 3 so the result is 7 kilogram so uh, so uh, the, the flower she has she has she has all to gather is seven kilogram next this is second questions of the worksheet let's do it together even though we have done this at the class Mrs. Tom bought Z bottles of oil, which each bottle cost seven dollars. So Z bottle is the number, numbers of the bottles. Yeah, and one bottle cost seven dollar. She gave cashier fifty dollar. So this is the money paid. And what is what is ask? Find the change. Okay. Find the change Mrs. Pham received in terms of Z, means algebraic expression. 
So first we have to identify the information. The no is Mrs. Tom bought Z bottles of oil, which which one bottle costs seven dollar. One bottle uh, equals to equals to seven dollar. One bottle equals to seven dollar. Okay, and the money she gave is fifty dollar. Okay, so what is ask? Ask is a change. Okay, if we buy something and our money is more than the price uh, of the thing we bought. So we will get change. So change comes from the payment, the money we pay, minus the price. The money we pay, we have already, you no, know, the money we give them is the $50 and the price should be the price of the bottles altogether. But we do not know how, ma how many bottles because it's represented by Z. So change is payment. The change is uh, 50 minus price. Okay, so imagine if I have seven, uh, if I have a bottle, it costs uh, seven dollars. I have two, will be 14. Yeah, it's come from two times seven. If I have three, altogether 21 comes from three times seven. Look at the price. This one is the number of bottle. Three and two is the number of bottle. So you see what I do? The number of bottle is Z. Then multiple times the price of one bottle, which is seven dollars. Okay, later we use the dollars. Let's just write the okay. The number. Okay, now fifty minus Z times seven is Z times 7 is uh, 7Z. Okay. So that's the, the answer of the, the answer of uh, uh, no, first question. So the change is 50 minus 7Z dollar. Mm, wait. Dollar. That's the answer. But then, if Z equals to 2, this is the P1, P questions, how much change did Mrs. Tham receive? So we change Z with 3. So I'm going to use your screen. So the P1, uh, Z equals to 3, uh, means the number of the bottle is 3. So we put into 50 minus 7z. So z here should be replaced by 3. So let's do it. 50 minus 7 times 3. So 50 minus 21. So it's 29. So uh, the change is $29. Oh, wait. $29. Okay, that's uh, number two. Okay, now let's do a review number three. We have done this also at school. Alvin and Bala had 26 stickers put of them, yeah. Both of them combined or all together is 26. And Alvin had seven more stickers than Bala. How many stickers did Bala have? Okay. So the information is I'm going to use uh, two approaches. Number one is uh, the information I get is or no. Alvin plus Bala equals to 26 stickers. And then 
Alvin is Bala plus eight stickers. Yeah, Alvin had eight more stickers than Bala. Okay, so how many stickers did Bala have? The question is, how many, how many stickers did Bala, Bala have? Okay, so let's uh, return to the equation. We can do this. For example, I'm going to change this letter into small letters, represent algebra. So A plus B equals to 26 stickers. And we substitute since Alvin is Bala plus 8. So I'm going to change this one. So B plus 8 plus B equals to 26. So now we have, so 2B simplified plus 8 equals to 26. And we move 8 here, so we can get 2B. 2B equals to 26 minus 8. And 2B equals to, and this one is 18. Oh, this one is B, yeah? B. So, B is, sorry. So B equals to 18 per 2. Remember, this one is 2, which is 9. Okay, so you can use this uh, use this approach. Uh, let's, uh, let's use the model. The model is like this. I'm going to use... Okay, this one. Uh, blue one also. Uh, this one. Okay, so this is a different strategy. We use model. Uh, first, Bala and Alvin had 26 stickers. Alvin had 8 more. The word more is always, uh, not always, but it's, it indicates comparing. Comparing or comparison. So there are two person compare, which is A and B. And A had 8 more. So, like this. This line, this dotted line, this dotted line is the equal numbers of stickers. But Bala has eight more. The difference is this one, eight more. So, this is equal, but we do not know. Let's use uh, M, okay? So this is M, this is also M, because they are equals, yeah? This equals, they are equals. The difference is only eight, eight uh, stickers. Altogether, it equals to 26. So let's simplify. Let's uh, simplify. First, M, M, 8. So M plus M plus 8 equals to 26. 2m equals to 8, 8, sorry, uh, m plus 8, m equals to 26 minus 8, so 2m equals to 18, m equals to 18 per 2, m equals to 9, okay, so the same, yeah, so that's the same, Bala has so Bala only have one M means Bala has nine stickers. Okay, now we have number four and the same, the same as number three. Cindy and David made 32 paper cranes all together. Cindy made six fewer. The word more fewer indicates comparing or comparison. Uh, the question is how many papers did David make? Okay. So Cindy, the no first, we, we indicate information before we do calculation. Cindy plus David equals to 32. And then Cindy 
uh, equals to uh, mid less David minus six. Okay, so what is ask? What is S here is how many uh, crane? How many crane did? How many paper crane? Paper crane David make? Okay, so people use modeling. Let's use this one first. So C plus D equals to 32. We substitute. Uh, C with D minus 6. So first C plus, oh, um, let's use uh, algebra. So C plus D equals to 32. We substitute C with this. So D minus 6 plus D equals to 32. Let's simplify to D minus 6 equals to 32. 2D equals to 32. Look, it's minus 6. So minus 6 is move here, becoming plus. Okay. So then we have 2D equals to 38. D equals to 38 over uh, divided by 2, which is 19. So David. S19 19 stickers 19 paper print uh, we can use also the modeling Cindy made six fewer so we have Cindy we have David and Cindy fewer mean less and David has more okay this line indicates similarities equal so let's use m again you can use any kind of letters but i prefer m this one is six because cindy has six fewer six fewer and all together uh, 32. so let's simplify one two so we have m plus m plus 6 equals to 32 2m plus 6 equals to 32 2m equals to 32 look it's positive it's becoming minus when move here so 2m equals to 26 so m equals 26 per 2 which is 13 yeah 13 uh, but remember this is m not david david has m plus 6 so david has m plus 6 13 plus 6 equals to 19 the same answer as this one okay so you can use this one or you can use the modeling this one Next, number five. Number five. Let's review again. Number five. At the market, a pear costs B cent and an apple costs five cent less than a pear. Mrs. Ravi bought five pear and one apple. Okay, the first information is the pear. One pair equals to B cent, and one apple equals to five cent less than pair. So pair minus five cent, or B minus five cent. So first we have to understand this one first. A pair is more expensive because apple is. The price of the pair minus five cent. Okay, uh, and then uh, Mrs. Ravi bought five pairs. Oh, Mrs. Ravi bought five pairs means five pairs mean times five. So we have five B. We have five B. Mm, five B cent. 
comes from uh, five pairs. The price of the pair is uh, B. Next, uh, A, what is ask? A, find the total amount of cent this rabbit paid in terms of B. Okay. Uh, price, yeah. The price paid or the paid uh, in algebraic expression. In algebraic expression, it says in B. Okay, so so five pairs plus one apple so five pairs is five b five b plus look one apple is b minus five b minus five and then five b plus b equals to six b minus five cent so this is the money uh mr mr uh, Mrs. Rafi pay, uh, paid. And then the B1, if each cost six, if each pair cost six cents, how much did Mr. Rafi pay? So if B equals to 60 cents, uh, let's put into algebraic expression here. Okay, with uh, the B to distinguish from P and 6 is almost similar, yeah? Uh, use the cursive B. So, B is 6 times B substitute to 60 minus 5. 120 minus 5. So, the result is 120 minus 5. Uh, hey, sorry. It's 360 minus 5. So, 355 cents. This one. So she paid three hundred sixty cents. Okay, now let's review number six. Huda had Y M of cloth. She used two M to school to sew a skirt. To sew skirt, she used so at first has uh, Huda had uh, YM and then she used two meters for skirt and she used the remaining for making three dresses. Okay, so first information is at first Huda had uh, this is the model. Huda had Y M, but then, but then, she used two meter. So let's cut out two meter. This one for skirt, and then this is the remaining, remaining, remaining four three dresses okay so what is the questions okay find the amount of cloth used for making each dress okay ask uh, cloth ask cloth for one dress yeah first the one the the dress uh, one on the dress using the use 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 the remaining cloth so we have to find the remaining first how yeah by looking at the pictures here at first it's uh, remaining the remaining come from y and then minus two meters minus two minus two meters minus two that's the remaining and then one dress coming from remaining divided by three why because the remaining the remaining cloth is used for three dresses so one dress come from the remaining divided by three so we substitute with y minus two divided by three so that's the 
the so one dress is y minus two per three meter and then the b1 is if huda had 11 meter of cloth means means y equals to 11 meter okay let's solve this problem would be one y equals to 11 meters we put into algebra expression y minus 2 per 3 so 11 minus 2 per 3 9 per 3 11 minus 2 is 11 uh, is 9 and then 3 meter so one dress is 3 meter that's number okay let's go to number 7 Sandy sold 4 times as many as oranges as apple okay the word times fewer more means comparison okay so the model will be comparing she, she saw a total 70 apples and oranges all together how many apples did Sandy sell? Okay, first, let's use comparison. There is O and A. Sandy saw four times as many as oranges as apple. So, uh, Sandy saw four times as many oranges as apple. Means, if apple only has one, oranges has four of them yeah like this uh i'm sorry i'm just i didn't draw in in scale but they are similar so this box equal to this box in size and the total is 70 apples and oranges okay so because we do not know uh how many in each box so let's use uh, M. M, 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 M. okay so all together one two three four five five M equals to 70 fruits yeah so M equals to 70 over 5 let me I think it's too far 70 so 5m equals to 70 m equals to 70 per 5 uh, divided by 5 so m equals to 14 yeah, how many apples did sandy sell uh, apple is only one one m only one m which is 14 Okay, so this is the last number, number eight uh, of practice four. What problem? Sally uses two uh, pieces of wire, 60 centimeter long, to form a rectangle. The length of the rectangle is five centimeters longer than its breadth. The first information is uh, a wire, a wire equals to 60 centimeters. And then to make rectangle, and then a uh, breath is uh, oh sorry not the breath the length the length is five centimeters. Then breath. Okay, first let's see rectangle. This is rectangle, this is length, this is length, this is breadth, this is breadth. And we know that the length is breadth um, plus 5, breadth plus 5. Okay, so let's uh, use the equation here. 
uh, what is S? The, uh, what is S is what is the length? Okay, uh, find length. Okay, before we can find the length, we must find the breadth first because length is breadth plus five. Yes. Now look at these uh, figures. So let's simplify. Let's change length with breadth. Length equals to breadth plus five. Breadth plus five. And then sum them up the piece. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, four. So B plus B. Uh, sorry. B plus B plus five. This one. This one. And then plus b plus b plus 5 this one is this one okay equals to 60 simplify 1 2 3 4 we have 4 b's plus 5 plus 5 10 equals to 60 4 b's equals to 60 minus 10 remember positive 10 become minus if we uh, uh, replace them or put a on the right so b b equals to 50 over 4 and the 60 minus 10 is 50 and divided by 4 so let's bring up here so b equals to 50 over 4 and the result is 7 uh, oh, sorry, 12.5 centimeter. That's B. But remember, length equals to B plus 5, which is 12.5 plus 5. This one. So the length is 17.5 centimeter.